Hi, I'm Heath McKinley, Product Specialist for Sony Australia. And I'm Mark Gaylor, Sony Imaging Ambassador. And this is Alpha Insights. In this video, we're going to be talking about vertical grips. So Mark, do you often use vertical grips on your cameras? To be honest, Heath, uh, most of the time a vertical grip is not attached to my cameras. With an Alpha 7R4, I can actually take a vertical crop out of a horizontal image because of the resolution, obviously. But sometimes a client says that they want a, a big six foot print um, from my camera, so I will uh, move into vertical orientation, sometimes called portrait. There are a few problems then when you don't have a vertical grip extended. Okay, so the classic way is just to go this way, but if you're in a crowded location, you've got this elbow out, which can get knocked. I can get to my focus hold button, which I have programmed to IAF on my lenses. So if I keep try and keep my elbow in, Okay, one, I don't have easy access to a focus hole button, and I also don't have access to some of my custom keys on the camera easily. Mm -hmm. So there is a problem with not using one. So if I was maybe in a studio and I'm shooting all of my portraits in vertical orientation, then obviously the vertical grip makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So um, one of the things that the vertical grips also do is extend your battery life by being able to have two batteries within the grip itself. Uh, it's going to mean you can shoot for a longer period of time as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, before we got the large Z series batteries, the vertical grip was almost, mm -hmm. it wasn't an option really, was it? You, yeah. you, if you're shooting 4K movies on those old W series batteries, um, you were just you were just asking for trouble, you know, cutting out halfway through your clip. And then that's why with the Alpha 7S2, they have the, the vertical grip, which does have those two W batteries in there. Yeah. Um, and you'll often find a lot of videographers who are shooting on those cameras almost always have the uh, vertical grip attached to extend that battery life out. Yeah, well, in those situations, it's not about keeping the camera small, it's about you know, keeping yeah. your productivity high. Yeah, so another thing to uh, talk about with the vertical grips is obviously when you have the camera in the vertical orientation, like you said, you get the better stance for, you know, handheld, you have access to also though, the, uh, all the buttons on the camera in the yeah. same orientation as they yeah. would be on the camera itself. So you have your AF on, your AEL button, yeah. which are customizable to whatever you yeah. like. But also, the um, as long with the shutter button, you've got your C1 and C2. Yeah, and I'm a big user of those C1 yeah. and C2 keys. You know, ISO auto minimum shutter speed and uh, focus area. Very important that I need quick access to those. So that's going to be a huge yeah. advantage. And so if you are someone who's not a travel photographer, if you're, say, a wedding photographer uh, or someone who's shooting events and so you need to have a camera that you're not always swapping batteries out, you want to be able to switch from landscape to portrait, back to mm. landscape, back to portrait quite yeah. often, the vertical grip really does come into its own in that regard. I've also had some people who are coming over to the mirrorless cameras miss the big, big size yeah. of their DSLRs. And obviously, the grips have improved now. I, I, you know, I've got somewhere to put my little finger on the Alpha Seven R Four and the Alpha Nine Two. Uh, but of course, if you've got humongous hands, then obviously that vertical grip is going to make you not miss your DSLR if that's uh, where you're coming from. So let's go in and have a closer look at some of the features on the the three types of grips we've got, uh, and we'll go into a bit more detail about how they actually are used. Okay, so let's start with the VGC Two EM. This is the grip you'll be using with the Alpha 7.2, 7R2 and 7S2 cameras. So we'll get right into it. On this end here, we have the battery storage. The door flips open like that. Hit the lever, release the two W series batteries in the battery tray. And close the door back again. We have the mounting point for affixing it to the camera. We have a battery door storage compartment, uh, contact pins up on this edge, and on the top here we have a forward command dial, shutter button, C1, C2, and an on-off switch. The on-off switch is for the grip, not the camera, so that um, if you are using the camera in landscape mode, you don't have to worry about bumping the shutter button uh, while you're not using it. 
On this edge here, we have the uh, rear command dial, as well as a C3 custom button and a combination AEL, AF, MF button located there. And that is the VGC 2EM battery grip. Next up, we have the VGC 3EM. Uh, this is the grip you'll be using with the Alpha 7.3, Alpha 7R3, and the Alpha 9 Mark I cameras. Uh, updated on this grip is the battery door here is combined with the battery tray, which houses the two Z-type batteries for the uh, 7.3, 7R3, and A9 cameras. Uh, we still have the mounting point on top. The knurled knob underneath has been improved with a much uh, nicer feeling. Uh, this is the battery storage compartment here. I'll show you there. The door is kept in there for safekeeping uh, when the grip is being used with the camera body. The same contact pins which are retracted when not in use. Uh, some improvements on the VGC 3EM. Uh, a better feeling front command dial, a combination lock unlock rather than on and off switch with the shutter button as well, uh, with the C1 and C2 buttons here. On this edge, we now have the AF on and AEL buttons have been um, made in individual buttons with the rear um, command dial up here and a multi selector switch here for selecting focus points, etc. So that is the VGC 3EM. We'll quickly mount one, mount this one to a camera. So as we can see here, the Alpha 7.3 with the door removed. Do this. Screw the camera up like that. And there we have the grip mounted to the Alpha 7.3 camera. Moving on, we have the VGC 4EM. Uh, this grip is the newest one and is designed for the Alpha 7 R4 and the Alpha 9 Mark II cameras. Once again, we have the combination battery door and tray with the two Z-type batteries in there. Mounting point on top with the same knurled knob as the VGC 3EM. Battery storage compartment up on the top edge here. We now have uh, this switch here, which when making contact in the end of the battery compartment will make contact with the pins. Otherwise they are retracted for safety. Uh, redesign on top edge here with the uh, combination lock unlock switch and shutout release. We have a forward command dial, larger, more pronounced C1, C2 buttons within this recess. We now have the AF on button, AEL button located next to each other with the more pronounced larger AF on button, just like on the body itself. Uh, obviously rear command dial and a newer improved multi-selector switch for this grip as well. And that is the VGC 4EM. I hope you found that information useful. Uh, if you are not already using a vertical grip, maybe this has given you the information you need to go and try one or purchase one for yourself. Um, there's plenty more information uh, on uh, Mark's channel as well about how to shoot with Sony Alpha cameras. So be sure to check out the links in the description below for his channel. Yeah, just make sure you subscribe and we'll catch you online next time.